unlikely warriors have joined the fight against COVID-19. Minnesota and Western Wisconsin craft cocktail makers are making those on the front lines of the illness safer. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us how they're chipping in to keep people healthy. Typically, Saturday is the busiest day of the week at Norseman Distillery, but nothing about this week is typical. It's usually pretty vibrant and hopping in here. It's very quiet and lonely in here today. Norseman is heeding the governor's advice, closing their doors to the public, but they're opening up production for a product they never thought they'd make, hand sanitizer. It's 77% alcohol, glycerol, and hydrogen peroxide, which were all things that we had on hand here at the distillery. Um, and then we add essential oils because we're Norsemen, we can't help ourselves so that it smells nice. They decided to join other distilleries around the country and use their alcohol for the greater good. Right from the first day when we made it, we're like, we're only going to allow this to care providers and first responders in an effort to minimize, hopefully, the movement of people, um, only to people that have to go out in this, the ones that we're going to rely on to help us when we call. They're not alone and they're repurposing for a purpose. 45th Parallel in New Richmond is also making sanitizer. They say they can barely keep up with the demand. Jay Carver in Waconia is making sanitizer too for first responders and healthcare workers. So they would essentially like. Back at Norseman, they've had hundreds of requests for sanitizer and they plan to resume production on Monday. So even though they can't serve cocktails, they found a way to serve others. It honestly does give us a lot of purpose and a lot of like happiness to be helping out. The hope here at Norseman is to make many more bottles of sanitizer. They're obviously not getting a revenue stream in right now, so they've started a GoFundMe page. If you'd like to donate to that and help them serve others, we've got a link on WCCO.com. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News.